Hi, this is Harris Mitharajkuma. Welcome back to another video on basic questions of percentage where in previous video we have seen the introduction part of percentage and uh, that is of part 1 and part 2 only if you understand that completely. I have given you tips and tricks to solve it without using normal method. So go check it out, understand it clearly, then come back because you can just answer in a fraction of seconds if you understand that video completely. So let's get into the video. Now the question, if A equal to percentage of X percentage of Y and B equal to Y percentage of X, which of the following is true? And if you have seen my part 2 video, I, around I think 4, after 4 minutes, I have mentioned about property 1, okay. So, property 1, if you know, you will be able to answer this question like this. So, property 1 says that X percentage of Y will be equal to Y percentage of X, which means basically, according to the question, A equal to b okay so let us check the option a is smaller than b a is greater than b the relationship between a and b are not determined if x is smaller than y a is no none of these is your answer so the answer for this question is none of these so let me change the color so it will be bright yeah now let's see the next one if 20 percentage i hope it is seen clearly yeah if 20 percentage of A equal to B. So, let us assume B is equal to 20 percentage of A. What is of? Which is nothing but 20 by 100 into X. Okay. So, B is nothing but 20 by 100 into. Instead of X, I am writing A because A is the question. They asked you B percentage of 20. So, of already B percentage means B by 100 of into 20 is your question. B percentage of 20 is your question. So, instead of B, I can write 20 by, uh, I can just simplify this and keep. So, 20 divided by 5 is 1 by 5 into A. That is your B, right? So, B is 1 by 5 into A. So, instead of B, let me write 1, which is A by 5. 1 by 5 into A is A by 5 by 100 into 20. Okay. Now, if I was, I'm, I'm not uh, erasing my 100 because I need percentage. So, let me see. I'm just write, I'm just writing it here. So, it is A by 5 into 100 into 20. So, 20 I can cancel 5 ones are 5 and 4. So, this will be Basically, I am just rearranging and writing 4 by 100 into A. What is 4 by 100 into A? One second. 4 by 100 is 4 percentage of A. So, this is your final answer. I am just cancelling. I am not removing 100 because I in answer itself I have seen percentage is there. So, 4 percentage of A is your right answer. Now, let's go to the easier one. This is a really easy question where uh, using simple method, I'm finding 30 percentage. So, as in mind calculation, what I told 10 percentage, how do you find 10 percentage? I'm it, uh, 10 percentage of 700 is nothing but 70 because I'm just putting a point here, right? Uh, you won't understand if you're not seeing mind calculation. Go check part one video for this introduction part one video and 30 percentage is nothing but 3 into 10 percentage, which is 3 into 70, which is 210. So, your answer for this is 210 is your right answer. Since I'm writing calculations and doing, it will take, you know, it, it might sound like a big steps, but if you're doing on spot in examination, you will find it easy. Instead of writing calculation, you can just do it on your own. Now, 25, um, now you are, uh, 20, you are supposed to find answer for 25 percentage of 24, 25 percentage of 24, then 25 percentage of 32, then minus 14 percentage of uh, this one. 
350. Now, 25 percentage of 24 means I have to divide the whole by 4. So, 24 by 4, what I am getting? I am getting 6. Then, uh, again, 25 percentage of 32. 32 divided by 4, what I am getting? I am getting it as 8. Now, 14 percentage of 350. For finding 14 percentage of 350, what is 10 percentage of 350, which is nothing but 35? 10 percentage of 350 is 35. 1 percentage of uh, 350, what I am getting? 3.5. 1 percentage of 350 is nothing but 3.5. Then 4 percentage, what I am doing? 4 into 1 percentage is my 4 percentage. So basically, it is uh, 3.5 plus 3.5, it is 7, right? And uh, 7. Plus 7, 14. So, 14 is your answer. So, when you add all these things, add this and this, you will be getting the answer for, of this one. So, 10 percentage plus 4 percentage will be 35 plus 14. So, what you will get? You will get 49. So, is this subtraction? Yeah. So, what is the question? When you, uh, you have to add these things and subtract. So, 8 plus 6 is 14. So, again 14 here. 14 minus 49 answer you are getting. So, which you will be having it as minus 35 is your answer. So, for this minus 35 is my answer when I do it. So, I hope you understood it clearly. Okay. Now, let us go to the next one. The next sum is x percentage of 465 is 623. What is, so see, x percentage of 465, I am getting my answer as 623. So, what are they asking is, 465 percentage of x plus 60. That is the question, right? So, for this, you have to use the property. What does property say? So, for understanding more uh, clearly about properties, go check my Part 2 video of introduction, you will be able to answer. X percentage of Y is equal to Y percentage of X. So, we know that X percentage of 465 is equal to 465 percentage of X. Right? So, what is 465? That will be equal to 623. Okay? But in question, with this, they added 60. So, with this, the question is 465 percentage of x plus 60 is what they are asking. So, this is given in question to, uh, 623, then plus 60. Okay. So, I will get 683. So, this is my answer. So, my answer for this question is 683. You are just using one rule for this, that is property 1, x percentage of y will be y percentage of x. So, we know x percentage of 465. So, 465 percentage of x will also be the same by property 1. So, both are 623. But with this one, they added 60. That is what the question is. So, you just add the answer with the 60. So, you will get the right one. So, that's all. In next video, we'll be seeing a different topic on percentage. First, I'll be taking the tips and tricks part. Then, I'll be solving problems. So, every video on the playlist will be like a theorems. I mean, the theory part will be uh, in one or two videos. Then, after finishing the theory, I'll be going to the sums. Sums also depends on the uh, quantity, how much it has. So, I'll be putting one or two videos on sums or one. So, thank you and... Uh, before leaving, let me give you a quick question for this. Find the answer for this question and comment below. Thank you.